the heart-wrenching report by the BBC exposing sexual exploitation and harassment of female tea pickers at the James Finlay and Ekatera multinational tea companies have had far-reaching consequences, with both employers having had to answer to the Parliamentary Committee on Labour as to how such social ills went on and questioned in their farms, despite having mechanisms put in place to curb such heinous acts. The issues that were actually raised in the expose were actually of criminal nature. <clears throat> so we did, we made a view that DCI has to be informed, and we presented the letter to DCI headquarters in Nairobi. Okay. Following a request by Kericho County Women Rep Beatrice Kimei, the Parliamentary Committee on Labor was given 21 days to research and present a report to the floor of the House with regards to the expose. However, up to now, no victim has filed an official complaint nor any perpetrator arrested. We believe that the reasons as to why majority of the women actually Almost all the women do not want to come out and speak into these issues. It is because they fear that they will lose their jobs. Actually, uh, their representatives have made it very clear that any moment you are uh, brought before the tribunal, chances are that 99% you are going home. You are on your way home. While calling on the victims to find the courage to speak up against the ills, the committee has made recommendations that more women be put in supervisory roles. It is the concern of the many women of Kericho County, and not only Kericho, it is also the concern of all the women in Kenya. In a, in a, few, a few days, the committee will take the same in the house, and I will be very happy to get, uh, to get the, uh, the feedback and of course, the parliament would do their work. More than 100 women confessed to having been sexually abused, with most having contracted HIV AIDS afterwards, according to the report. Multinational coffee house chain Starbucks and Sainsbury have since suspended the purchase of tea from James Finlay. Other big purchasers have also condemned the actions pending investigation to the distressing claims. The two-day fact-finding mission for the Parliamentary Committee on Labour is expected to give justice to victims of sexual and gender-based violence which happened in these very tea estates, the James Finley and Ekatera tea estates, after 21 days once they present their findings to Parliament. Rehab Kenothia, K24, Kericho County.